2019 was another busy year for Edmonton's food bank. Because of you, we accomplished a lot. More than 21,000 people received a food hamper each month. That represents over 62,000 unique Edmontonians served. Breaking down more numbers, our client service volunteers and staff answered on average 337 calls per day. We built more than 100 food hampers each day. 4.3 million kilograms of food was collected, sorted, repacked, and redistributed throughout Edmonton last year. 2019 saw significant job loss and our response was the Beyond Food program. 926 people registered to receive job readiness and other non-food help. We continue our ongoing partnerships with over 250 agencies, churches, schools and food depots. Our dedicated volunteers gave more than 100,000 hours of their time to help build food hampers for our neighbours in need and help raise food and funds at events in the community. We food raise and fundraise, can by can and dollar by dollar, at events throughout the community, including the Heritage Festival, the Edmonton Food Drive, and ETS Stuff a Bus. <laughs> Individuals, groups, and businesses help our work with their gifts of money, food, and time. There were many exciting events during our Christmas and festive campaign that helped us food and fundraise. Our goal of 370,000 kilograms of food and $2 million in monetary donations were met because of our amazing community donors. 18 Wheels of Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> the need for food doesn't stop there. Edmonton's Food Bank is more than a Christmas hamper. We exist all year round because of the generosity of the community. We do not receive government funding and so those donations of food and money and time are really essential to our work and enable us to provide services to people in need. Help keep food top of mind all year by donating at your local fire hall, grocery store or one of many other businesses with an Edmonton's Food Bank donation box. Text FEED to 20222 or donate online. For more ways to give, visit edmontonsfoodbank.com. And without the food bank, I would have gone hungry. I would just say, you know, don't be embarrassed, don't be scared, reach out. There's people and services that want to help you, and that's what they're there for. Hunger doesn't know income level, and hunger doesn't know any kind of walk of life. It doesn't discriminate at all. 